All right, so this week I think we'll do a little check-in on our corrosion resistant tools to see how they're doing. It's been a couple months since we, uh, specifically it's been a couple months since we put these Torx L keys out here. So let's check up on those and see how they're doing. So if you look at the Vera stainless Torx L key, you can see pretty much it looks the same. That's pretty much what I expected considering it's probably the same material as this shaft over here. So nothing really to report there on the stainless L key. So this one right here is the one that Viha offers that they claim is a corrosion, corrosion free, rust free L key. And it, so it's not stainless. What it actually is, it's a pacified zinc chromate finish. And it seems to be doing pretty well. So it has exceeded my expectations so far. I was thinking that we'd start to see at least a little bit of corrosion after a couple months. But I, I don't see any, any real evidence of corrosion yet. So, so far they proved me wrong on this, uh, on this finish. We'll give it at least a couple more months, maybe a, maybe a year or so. And then we'll uh, make a determination if it really is corrosion free like they claim. And if you remember at the same time we bought one of the black Viha L keys. And you can see this one's not doing too well at all. Um, I don't remember the, remember I put a, uh, a Vera one, a Vera hex L key out here. I took that one down. But that one was up for about the same amount of time this one's been up. And this one doesn't seem to be faring nearly as well. My suspicion is that the zinc chromate L key is just one of these black ones with a coating on it because it has the same markings on it. So really, as a, this is more out here as a control to tell you what would happen if it didn't have that finish on there. On a separate note, I'm actually quite impressed with this Hazette uh, stainless socket. I think it's looking pretty good. I think this thing's been out here for probably close to a year. And um, I'm not seeing any signs of corrosion yet on it. So, so far so good on that one. Just to give you an idea how bad the pollution is where, where I live. That's all from really pollution. There's a, there's a trash incinerator uh, not too far away. Um, I believe that's what a lot of this, this marking is from. I, I see this on like flat roofs and, and stuff too. If you have a, a flat roof that's painted white you'll see it end up with this kind of like it's almost like a tar like um, material it comes off like a like almost like a peanut butter cream cheese but when we bring these in we'll 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 show you what the uh, the unaffected one looks like all right guys well that's about wrap it up for this one just a quick little update um, I'm not sure how much longer I'm gonna keep some of these things out here these screwdrivers have been out here for well over two years. My thinking was I was going to keep it out here until this one, the Vera, starts uh, corroding. Because all, all the other three have already begun or have been corroding. So we'll see on that. Other than that, that's going to wrap it up. I'll catch you guys next time.